to find whether the number 328 is divisible by 5. Use the rule. The last digit in 328 is not 0, right? The last digit in 328 is not 0. Therefore, and neither it is 5. Therefore, the last digit in 328 is 8. So, I know that 328 is not divisible by 5. That is, 328 divided by 5 leaves a remainder 3. Therefore, without dividing, hereafter I can say any number not ending with 0 or 5 is not divisible by 5. Now, another option. Can I divide this number by 6? Any number for that matter. How to find that out? We can say yes, we can divide it by 6 if the number is divisible by both 2 and 3. Okay. No, if the number is divisible by 2 but not by 3. Or if the number is divisible by 3 but not by 2, then the number is not divisible by 6. What is 6? You will see all the beetles have 6 legs. You know, any insect has, some of the insects have 6 legs. Let's take an example. Is 328 divisible by 6? Is three, we have to ask this question then. Is 328 divisible by 2? Yes, because it use the rule. The digit in the 1's place is 8, which is the 1's place here. 8 is an even number. So I know that 320 is divisible by 2, right? But 320 is 328 divisible by 3. We have to ask both. It has to be divisible by 2, 1, 3, right? Use the rule. Add the digits of 3 to 8 together. How to find it is divisible? You have to add it up. Together, 3 plus 2 plus 8 is 13. Divide the sum of the digits by 3. No, 13 divided by 3 leaves a remainder 1. So I know that 328 is not divisible by 3 without even dividing it. Okay. So because 328 is not divisible by both 2 and 3, I know that 328 is not divisible by 6. Okay. Further one, can I divide this number by 7? For that matter, any number, how to find that out? The answer is yes, but this is if the following method is adopted, okay? We have to find out when will the number be divisible by 7. The trick is, but this is a little tricky, not like easy like others. We can say if the number is divisible by 7, 1, the number without the last digit attached, minus the last number times 2, less than 20 and divisible by 7, the whole number is divisible by 7. Uh, this is only for experts, okay? If it is confusing, please let the video go. You don't have to know this, this now, okay? The number without the last digit attached, minus the last number is times 2, is more than 20, then do the same thing again, over and over again, till the difference is 20 or less. Take the new number without the last digit attached. Subtract the last number times 2. The number is less than 20 and the number is divisible by 7. Then the original number is divisible by 7. Okay, what are we talking about here? Let us see it with an example. Is 328 divisible by 7? Use the rule. Take the number without the last digit. What is the last digit? 9. What is the without the last digit? Is 32. Subtract the last digit 9 times 2. Okay, what is the last digit? 9. 9 times 2 is 18. So, 32 minus 18 is 14. That's what we have to do. Subtract the la 2 times the last digit from the first 2. Uh, uh, minus the last digit. Okay, take 32 minus 18. That is 14. The difference is less than 20 and is divisible by 7. The original number is divisible by 7. Yes, 14 is less than 20 and it is divisible by 7. Right? is divisible by because 2 times 7 is 14. So 14 is less than 20. Therefore, the number 329 is divisible by 7. So 14, so I know that the 329 is divisible by 7. Yeah, you don't. It is a little tricky. Rather, we can divide it instead of going through the rule. Okay. 7 is a tricky rule. You may skip it. This comes handy only during big competitive exam. So, Try it, no problem. Is 328 divisible by 7? Let's find out. Use the rule. Take the number without the last two digits. Okay, last digit, okay. Remove the 8. 32 is left out. Subtract the last two, the last digit two times. Okay. 8 into 2 is 16. So 32 minus 16 is 16 is the difference. Is 16 divisible by 7? Is less than 20? Yes. The difference is less than 20. Is it divisible by 7? No, it is not divisible by 7. 
Because the original number is divisible by 7. 16 is less than 20. 16 is not divisible by 7. So I know that 328 is not divisible by 7. This is can I divide any number by 8? How can I know if I can divide it by 8? Yes, you can. It is divide, we can divide a number by 8 if its last three digits taken together as a number are divisible by 8. Okay, last three digits taken together should be divisible by 8. What is this? This is octopus. You know octopus? It has 8 tentacles, right? What is a tentacle? The legs are called tentacles, okay? How many tentacles are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this one is 6, 7 and 8. There are 8 tentacles. Okay? Uh, let's go to the next one. Let us find out. Is 4,328 divisible by 8? Let's find, use the rule. We have to take the last three digits. What are the last three digits in the number? 328 is the last three digits. We take that number. See if they are divisible by 8 without a reminder. Or is it, if the whole number is divisible by 8, 320, we can say 328 divided by 8, 4 is 0, 8, 1, 8 is 8, 0. So reminder is 0. So yes, the, the last three digits is divisible by 8. So I know that 328 is divisible by 8. That is 4,328 is divisible. Divided by 8 will leave no remainder. Okay, we can divide it and see. So, can I divide any number by 9? Can I divide the given number by 9? We can say yes if the sum of the digits is divisible by 9. Simple. Okay, the sum of the digits is divisible by 9. Simple. Is 324 or 327 divisible by 9? Let's use the rule. Add the digits in the number 324. 3 plus 2 plus 4 is what? 9. Can we divide 9 by 9? Yes. That divides the sum of the digits by 9. The remainder is 0. The remainder is 0. The number is divisible by 9. So I know that 324 is divisible by 9 without leaving a remainder. Let's take 327. Use the rule. Add the digits in the number 327. 3 plus 2 plus 7 is 12. Divide the sum of the digits by 9. 12 divided by 9 leaves a remainder of 3. So, the remainder is 0. The number is divisible by 9 is the rule. So, I know that 327 is not divisible by 9 because it leaves a remainder. Can I divide this number by 10? Yes, we can divide a number by 10. We can say, yes, if the last digit in the number is a 0. Look at here. 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, you know speed limit? Speed limit is the speed with which we can drive. If it all ends with 0, then it is divisible by 10. Is 328 divisible by 10? Use the rule. The last digit of 328 is 8. 8 is not 0. Since it is not 0, I know that 320 is not divisible by 10. But the last digit in 320 is 0. So I know that 320 is divisible by 10. Likewise, the last digit in 330 is 0, so I know that 330 is also divisible by 10. What happens when I divide a number by 0? Remember, fact family is division by 0 is not allowed, right? Let's see that why. 12 divided by 4 equals to what? 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Multiplication is the inverse opposite, right? Quotient into device are equal to dividend. Okay, remember, what is the quotient? 3. Multiplied by quotient, multiplied by 4, divisor or equal to the dividend. 12 is the dividend. Okay? So, or working backwards, if you want to do, dividend equal to quotient multiplied by divisor. Okay? Both are one and same. 12 equal to 4 into 3. But when I try to divide with 0, what happens? 12 divided by 0 equal to undefined, not 0 quotient. Because undefined. Because when I multiply, do the opposite. Like why I did here, 3, 4, so 12, 12 equal to 4 into 3. No quotient into 0 will be equal to 12. And 0 into any number is going to be 0, not 12. So the reverse is not possible. There is no number in the whole world I can put in the quotient place as a factor that will equal 12. 
When I multiply it by 0, the product will always be 0, right? There is no way I can change this. Look, 3 into 4 is 12. 12 equal to 4 into 3. The reverse operation, right? I cannot multiply any number with 0 to bring 12, right? So, when I divide a number by 0, the, re the result is called undefined. Don't allow it in max. Congratulations, now you know the shortcut way of determining if a number can be divided by another number. This will come in handy when you are finding prime and composite numbers. Prime factorization and prime factorization.